and Wilson is running crazy. So the run element of this offense. Wilson, mobile, caught to the 44-yard line, D.K. Metcalf. Metcalf was drafted in the second round, played at Ole Miss, and he was great last year. Had a terrific day in the wild card game at Philadelphia. 900 yards receiving and a monster at 6'4", 230. Big, big target. There's DK Metcalf doing his little Odell Beckham simulation, but vertical speed. I mean, look how high above the crossbar he is. Well, the defensive player of the year, there he is. Stephon Gilmore, who started his career at Buffalo, fourth year now in New England, just turned 30 yesterday. First cornerback to earn the award since Charles Woodson back in 09. I think even he was surprised, don't you, when Belichick paid him the amount of money that he did? I mean, Bill Belichick usually goes after sort of the bottom end free agents. That was uh, top shelf with Gilmore, and boy, it certainly paid off. Second and three, needed a shutdown corner and got it. And that is DK Metcalf making the catch, and Gilmore makes the tackle. Yeah, this is the matchup we really expected tonight because DK Metcalf is so big, and Gilmore tends to go after the bigger type of receivers. Typically, if they have a small, quick kind of guy, they'll double team and put him on the second receiver. He stays in the block. Wilson, it as he throws deep downfield, it's going to be caught by Metcalf for the touchdown. And he beats the defensive player of the year as well. 54 yards. It's just a thing of beauty right here. You go against the leverage and come back out of it like that. Because typically when you go that hard inside, you feel like that you're going across the field. But his body is so big. Gilmore ended up being right there, but it was Russell Wilson who dropped it in, one of those moon balls over the top, which... Exciting first half, 6.57 to go till halftime. Wilson to Metcalf. 14-14. Wilson fires. And that's out of bounds and incomplete. So you've got 28 seconds. It's fourth down. Gilmore, well, it worked out pretty well for both guys down the line. Here's Carson into the England territory. To the 49. Bob Graff said firing Carroll was the hardest thing he ever had to do. Whoa. Meanwhile, yeah, look at the, on the sideline here. You got a little scrum. More than a little. The blue shirts have not numbered a little bit. Look at Carroll. He's right in the middle of this thing trying to separate everybody. So you've got uh, Gilmore. I was going to say. He's the deepest in there. You know, Gilmore and DK Metcalf have been going at it all game. I wonder if this one carried right into the bench. This is uh, what started it, you would think. Well, let's go to Michelle right in front of you, Michelle. Yeah, basically, I mean, you saw them going at it on that on that particular play, and then it just continued all the way onto the sideline. And before you knew it, Gilmore was deep into the bench, and everyone was around him. So uh, it's a little heater between those two, Al. Look at our next-gen stats powered by AWS, and watch this. This is what's been going on all game between these two guys. It has been a battle during pass routes, but more particularly when they've been going at it just run block. Gilmore gets his shots back, and of course, Metcalf with the big play of the night. But that stuff has just been getting chippier and chippier and chippier. A little lack of respect for the defending player of the year on the defensive side. And... Wilson fires right on the money. Metcalf. Man, getting the measure of Gilmore. 
I mean, let's just say that DK Metcalf is an emerging star anyway. Everybody knew that. But when you're going up against the defensive player of the year and having this kind of night, and you're 225 pounds, and your speed scares him like that, and then you have the ability to just stop on a dime and make that kind of cut and come back, I, he's a special guy. Cam is going to take it himself, and he doesn't get in. And the Seahawks are going to win the game. Line up with a power formation, and you got LJ Collier and Leno Hill are the two guys who are there.